think about the life we're living today. And I get questions from people about the conveniences I have today, about the job I have today or the clothes I wear. And they ask me, what am I doing here if I'm, if I'm going to drive on their highways? They, they, they don't, what they don't realize is that those highways were built with resources that come from this land that does not belong to any one individual that belongs to all of us. They may have built a system here of lies and deception. But they're going to have to live and die with those lies and deception. That is the responsibility they carry, not us. When the residential school experience happened, it lasted for over a hundred years. Over a hundred years, they kidnapped our children. They lied to our, our parents. And they abused, they oppressed, and they tried to exterminate First Nations people. There's a reason why they attacked First Nations people and not other groups in this country. The reason they attacked First Nations people is because we had the power and the people, we had the land. The ownership and the sovereignty of this land was gifted to us by creation. It was gifted to us by creation for a reason. And that reason was that we were also gifted with love and kindness. And Creator knew we wouldn't abuse that power. We wouldn't abuse that power and oppress other people with that power. So it is time for us to take that stand and take those teachings and live by them. It's time for us to own up to our responsibilities as human beings and to take a look around you. We're not against, we're not against the conveniences. We're not against technology. What we're against is greed. We're against power of man, the perceived power of man, who believe that they have the power to dictate to your life to tell you what you can and can't do, where you can and can't go. But there's another thing that you have the freedom to do, any time, any place, and that is conduct your ceremonies. Any individual here can conduct a ceremony and talk to Creator. That's where your guidance will come from. And you will always know what the right thing to do if you do it the right way. Nothing can stop truth. Nothing can. When truth is in front of you, you can't go around it. It's powerful, people. Embrace the truth. And the truth is, 